welcome to start our YouTube and if this YouTube this YouTube please first consider me by liking and and uh, today and uh, today and uh, today we are going to learn about the introduction to business statistics and let proceed okay and this uh, video we're going to learn the first two uh, topic about the business statistic introduction and uh, the learning objective and uh, at the end of this video uh, you will be expected to know how to use the business uh, how to use statistics in business and you know how to define some vocabulary of statistics and the rest is um, not um, focused on this video okay generally when come to this and uh, why we learn statistics okay what is our intention and what is the use of learning business statistics okay let's see by dividing to two main different category the first one is to make a better sense of world we use statistics for example uh, internet article or report to produce different magazine article newspaper article and uh, such like television radio should use the data and uh, in other scenario we use business statistics to make a better business decision for example business memos business research technical journal and the technical reports this is very essential in the area of business statistics okay and the next in business statistics or in general in business how statistics is important to us first in business to summarize business data we need to know statistics to draw a conclusion from business data let's say how business is going on to know this trend we have to a data and from that data we have to drive an information and to make reliable forecast about our business statistics are so important and to improve a business process in generally we must consume the application of statistics okay next in statistics there is two general plans the first one let's define what statistics mean by itself statistics is the branch of mathematics that transforms data into a useful information for decision makers as I told you previous in statistics is a tool that unable to us make or change data into a useful information for our business for our decision so the decision maker use a data to know or to know the future change about that general business in general in statistics there is two type branch of statistics the first one is descriptive statistics and the second one is inferential statistics generally under descriptive statistics we use this type of statistics to collect data to summarize data to present data and to analyze data in descriptive way and we come to the second type of statistics that is inferential statistics we use this branch of statistics to make or use it to draw conclusion from the small group of information or for or from the sample to the large group of a population okay so in inferential statistics first we collect a data from small group and we estimate the sample statistics then we draw the overall conclusion to the wider population okay these two branches are used in important activity so in generally either descriptive or inferential statistics we use in the following important activity first to summarize business data 
okay in every business company there is a data okay so that data is generalized or summarized by using statistics okay especially when it comes to descriptive statistics we use charts and the table to make or to summarize our raw data second to draw conclusion from business data okay and we use in this case inferential method to reach on conclusion about large group of uh, based on the data from the small group okay third to make a reliable forecast about our business we use these statistics especially here also we use inferential method to develop quantify and improve the accuracy of our predictive model fourth to improve business process for example managerial approach like six sigma is used this is derived from our data and all these important activities then by either by using descriptive or inferential okay when it comes to the first branch of statistics descriptive statistics and we use descriptive statistics in the following steps first to collect data we use descriptive statistics for example to make or to conduct survey second to present our data we use descriptive statistics by using such table and a graph third characterize data by using the sample statistics or such as sample mean when it comes to the second branch of statistics we use in the following area okay for example estimation and we use estimation let's say the population mean by using the sample mean we estimate the population mean uh, for example the population mean weight using the sample mean weight they consider this population let us assume this is our population and from our population we select those encircled with rate one is our sample data and we take this sample randomly from our population in equal proportion okay so this sample data i will to estimate or by using this sample data we're going to estimate our general population weight okay so in inference there's two types the first one inference is about estimation the second one is about making or claiming or testing the hypothesis okay so when we estimate our population mean we are doing the referential part also when you conduct an hypothesis about some claim we are conducting also inferential statistics for example to test the claim that the population mean weight is 120 we must estimate or we must use the test statistics to reach upon the conclusion whether we accept the uh, claim of uh, to accept the null hypothesis or we fail to accept the null hypothesis generally drawing conclusion about large population based on the individual based smaller group is what called inferential statistics and uh, in this statistics or in this business statistics there is a vocabulary that is must be defined in context of statistics first variable what's variable variable is a characteristic of an item or an individual when you say variable it is in general a characteristic but it may be for an item or individual or what do you analyze when we use statistical data for example when you consider age age of an individual age may be considered as a variable because it may take a different age of a different individual okay when it come to data data are different value associated with a variable okay 
for example there is an age data that's associated with an age of individual so those number is called data and the other operational definition is data value are meaningless unless their variable have operational definition and the universal accepted meaning that clears to all associated with unless okay and the other important vocabulary is a population so in this statistics or in business statistics we define population accordingly a consists which consists all of item or individual about which we want to draw conclusion so in statistics first we have to define or we have to know our population when we want to make a conclusion sample another sample sample is a portion of population selected for analysis is called a sample so sample is what a part of a total population and the third vocabulary is parameter is a numerical measure that describe a characteristic of the population so this parameter is aligned with the population and uh, the last one is statistic which is quite a bit different from the original subject statistics and this statistic is numerical measure that describe the characteristics of the sample so this statistic is along with the sample data and this parameter is along with the population data so to understand the population versus the sample let's consider the following figure here let's assume that people in this circle is our total population or our state interest so here in the samples side circle we differentiate using the red red color to those who selected in our sample and we collect information from those red dot uh, those colored with the red one is our sample so here measures you describe the population is called parameter in the case of the first example but in the case of the second example the measures that describe the sample is called statistic okay this is written uh, incorrectly generally and when we conclude our today lecture we learn first about vocabulary in statistics and we define it and we also discussed the role of statistics in turning data into a useful information another we illustrated or examined different use of statistics and we mentioned many example and this is all about our today topic if you have any question please mention under comment section thank you very much